right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft, and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exact where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Look at the budding lightweight contender out of Poland, Mataj Gamrot. This guy's the total package. Stepped up for the Jalen Turner fight. This guy really can do it all, and he's out to prove as much here again tonight. And he tells you how he's going to do it. He tells you that you can't stop him from taking it out. And he's going to pressure you. And he's going to put pace on you. And he's going to be in your face from the very start. Gamrot is one of those guys that really does pop off the page whenever you see him because you know he is going to stop at nothing to impose his will on his opponent. No man has been able to finish Mataj Gamrot in nearly 25 professional fights. That is a trend. He hopes to continue here tonight. This is a lightweight eliminator. We'll see how it goes for Poland's Mataj Gamrot. for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mateusz Gamer! Gamer! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so the UFC back in Abu Dhabi tonight with much fanfare, as you would expect. We're inside the Anyhow Arena, which, of course, has hosted many UFC events dating to its opening back in 2020. It's gold. It, it's a cool. He's lost his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. He's having his way with him here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Gamrot's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Gamrot. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, oh, oh. 
Good movement on the ground here defensively by Muhammad. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a... Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said he that he was very position. aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Break that full guard open. Stay busy. Get the hat. Nice strike lands from the bottom fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Bilal Muhammad. There it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Under 90 seconds to go. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He starts start to extend the elbow. Now he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Under a minute now to go. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Muhammad going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Lands with the ground and pound. Setting up for an arm lock now. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant oh. position by giving it up. Fifteen seconds. Now he's got good body position, yup. Oh. Round two is next. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, round two. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a test of this fighter and the toughness and the durability that he possesses that is still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. He's got to get the ball. Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Hand fight, hand fight. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. 
Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, big elbow. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. It looks like he's trying to get an arm triangle, but he's got to get to the opposite side, get his chest to the mat, and find that finish. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Two minutes now to go in round two. Nice crack there. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Oh, and he's back up again. Now goes to the uppercut. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. That takedown attempt without issue. Gamma gets plastered by that uppercut. A single ball tie. Under a minute to go. Gamma going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Another big kick up. He passed the half guard. Side control now. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the pin. That's tight. Oh, he got out! He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Gamera. Huh. Ten minutes in the books. Oh, stop, stop, stop. He lost that last round. He's really one step ahead of you on the submissions. If you're doing a great job with your defense, but we have to avoid those positions altogether and be comfortable. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round on the way. the shot there. 
Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh. A little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips in and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Bilal Muhammad. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. The right hand just misses. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning. Oh, oh judo toss. Made it look easy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Muhammad's in half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Gamrot's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got the Kamora position locked in now. He's got the Kamora locked in. It's on him now to attack the wrist and start cranking on that arm. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Gamble. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Push off an elbow. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation. It oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 90 seconds to go. Get them out here. This is a terrible position. Really good job with the ground and pound, and now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, look at that. High-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. And there you go. Again, half guard. Final seconds of round three. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Right. The next three rounds in the can, we're Stop. headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat, sit down, relax, take a drink, 
slow that heart rate down. Listen, I want you to keep doing what you're doing. Focus on it. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready. from the top position. Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Nice. Nice to get Oh, staying busy fighting off of his back and he lands. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? The ground strikes continue to pile up. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face, such a big spot. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard, and you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Good work from the top here by Gamera. Well, nothing in the unified rules says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Gamrot's going for a choke here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you can deny that one, then you There yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Under two minutes to go. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Muhammad. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Gamrot's in half guard. All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Oh, 
All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. for the end of round four. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Gamrot's bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down, and most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. Cool. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Well-placed kick there by Bilal Muhammad. Straight punch. Useful. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That was great head movement. Holy oh, man. About the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat. The moment they came close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. This is where he wants to be. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Gamble. Another ground and pound strike lands. Gamble, ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Nice shots landing from the top position. Watch our bar here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. He's got it locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. He's in the mouth. Again, strong work here by Bilal Muhammad. Great defense by this fighter. Going for the arm here. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. So smart to continue to go to that area of the face that's all swollen. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Gamrot's back inside control. You gotta get out of there. Nice transition. Oh, right into mount. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another blow to that swollen area. He's in a lot of trouble now. 
Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Drop the oh, oh, The winner by submission. Oh my goodness. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after part is gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 49 seconds of round number 5. For the winner by submission, Mateusz Gamer! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight.